Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I am going to share the books and the pages I'm considering colouring in September 2023. So um, I've chosen a lot of books like I usually do and um, it's just my short list really. So even if I colour in half of them I think that's not too bad. Um, Hopefully I'll colour in more than half of them. But as it is back to school and it's always a busy term in September, we'll see. Um, so, Kitty says hello and let's get started. So, I have already started um, one in this little um, postcard book from Rita Berman, which is the Europa one. And it's this one here, which is... The rainy one, I think this was a whip um, from August. So this reminds me of the summer because uh, the summer was um, a lot of rainy weather in the UK, um, in Yorkshire anyway. So there was a lot of rain. There was sun as well, but just not enough for my liking. But anyway, um, that's why I coloured it because it was just like a little reminder. At the moment it's just got pencil on it and um, what pencils did I actually use? Um, I think, well I can't remember actually to be honest, um, probably a mixture of pencils to be honest but yeah I I am going to add um, metallic paint like I always do, gel pen as well but yeah I, I really like the little postcards, um, they're really fun to do so that's that one. I do have the Asian postcard ones as well because I might do one in here as well just because it's just a small one so it shouldn't take me too long so yeah I might do one in mine Risa Asian I mean quite like that one um, I think I've done this one in the book but I'm not quite sure which one I haven't actually chosen one I just thought it's a little project so another postcard book and then and my last postcard book is this one um, which is the one from Amazon Japan now this one is the one with the really really small details because it's like an A6 um, and what I have done is I've actually scanned these in and enlarged them so um, I might actually print out the enlarged version like that is just so small it's going to be quite painful to colour that um, some of them are okay as in they are small like that one but it's doable um, but yeah I wish they were a little bit bigger like this one's fine to colour this one's not bad at all but they are really small so I have got enlarged versions of these um, which I could print out on any paper I like really and, and do do them so that's my last postcard book and then another Rita Berman because we love Rita Berman books um, and so this one is the compilation one and I have got my eye on a specific one in here which is for autumn because it's all about autumn now um, for me because it's September's the autumn term and I would say summer is truly over in my eyes but the one I've got my eye on is actually this one um, I really like this double page I think it's beautiful I love the fact that there's an oak tree there with its gorgeous oak leaves and then it's got this lovely little scene here with a squirrel and the bird and the acorn I just love everything about this page and then you've got these birds I don't know if it's swallows migrating, probably got that wrong, but um, I really, really like it. Not quite sure how I do this bit here because it's quite, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word. Um, not schematic, but yeah, it's it's not like a proper proper tree but so yeah that that'd be interesting in how I colour it I'm not quite sure but I'm sure I'll try to think of something but I really do want to get this double page done because this is just like just a total autumn page there is another single page one which I do really like and I've done this one before in my B 
the single autumn book because this is a compilation book I quite like this one as well but um, I'm more drawn to this double page so yeah and, and I think I've used watercolour in these books before so that shouldn't be too problematic so there's that one and then a million little monsters so spectacular cuties to colour and so this one um, I never coloured in this one in oh, that's not good English I did not colour in this one in August um, so I totally missed colouring in it and uh, I think I'm going to colour in it definitely for September because it's just appropriate with all these little cute monsters with October coming up as well and Halloween stuff already in the shops and quite like well I, I like all of them actually so it's going to be a bit of a problem choosing but yeah so definitely want to do one in a million little monsters because it's just just the right book to work in I think for the, the September and October anyway then I do have a buddy colour already set up with the lovely Leslie. So that's Leslie Ladyhawk on YouTube. Um, so do check her out. And the one that I, or that we picked, well, I picked it and asked if it was okay with Leslie, and she she'd like she liked it as well. So um, it's this one. Um, so it's like a tree stump, I think, in the middle. What I really like about it is. There's all these mushrooms here and it just, to me, it just screams autumn vibes, basically. And then there's some butterflies there as well, which look really cute. So I quite like this one as well. So, um, yeah, this is the this is the one we've decided for the buddy colour. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. I am going to use a lot of autumn colours. Um... So yeah, that, that's one that's, that will need to be done because I always prioritise my buddy colours. And then I have Rhapsody in the Forest, I think it is, by Konoko Igusa. Now, I haven't coloured in this one. Uh, there's a couple of hers that I have not coloured in. They are beautiful books, I have to say. Absolutely gorgeous books. And I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to get to... Actually, it's not this this was not one that what I picked out a while ago the one that I've got my eye on is this one which I think is absolutely gorgeous but it is a challenge and I would be I would um, be disappointed if I messed this up because it's a beautiful picture um, and I think it would take me quite a long time to get this done but there's some lovely examples of this on Pinterest which which I can use as inspiration, but yeah, that's one of the ones that I've got my eye on. I mean, a double page would be nice, but I just don't think I'll have the time to do that. I mean, look at that. I would love to do this double page with the hedgehog and the mushrooms, but it would just take too long. Um, so it's probably going to be a single page in here, I think. So hopefully, hopefully I get to it. And then in Enchanted Earth, I've also picked out a page. So I'll just show you which. This is my second copy of the book, but I'll just show you which one I think I'm going to do. Uh, it's this one. Again, it's just the typical August, not August, sorry, typical autumn um, vibes page with the leaves, with the pumpkins some acorns there I think that's a pomegranate and then corn and you know harvest and all of that sort of stuff there's wheat there at least I think it's wheat um so yeah I think this this is definitely the one I'm I haven't really colored in um Mel Pamini's book for this latest one for quite a few months I think so I think this is definitely one I, I want to do as you can see, I've picked out a lot of books, and then I picked out an older book, um, 
of Johanna Bassford. And this is purely because it's got the autumn sort of themed pages, Enchanted Forest. So this is my um, second copy. Now this is um, printed in Italy and it's got really quite thick paper, which I really like. I've done a few pages in here. Um, I'm not quite sure which one I will do, or I'm hoping to do anyway, but um, let's see, there's a lot of beautiful pages. I mean, I could end up doing this tree, tree house, I quite like that, I think it looks really nice, so that could be one that I do. But then there's other beautiful pages like this dragonfly, which shouldn't take too long, but it will need a quite a... I don't know, some background of some sort. I quite like this acorn page. I know it's a bit repetitive, but that's just stunning, you know, for, you know, the autumn vibes. But yeah, it'd be nice to go back to doing a page out of here, actually, because it's just got such lovely pages in here, such lovely images. So Enchanted Forest. And then I did purchase um, this Woodland Watercolour Colouring Workbook by Claire Therese, Theresa, or Theresa Gray, I think. Um, I do apologise if I said that wrong. And then, yeah, I, I'm not sure what I will do from here. I might just practice in here. I don't know, but... There's some beautiful pages. I love the fact that it's watercolour paper as well. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do from here. But yeah, it might just be a little bit of practice. But yeah, I, I picked this book because I am quite enjoying what watercolour. So that's the Woodland Watercolour book. And then RJ Hampson. Uh, lost and found so this one is a new book absolutely gorgeous book and I've been looking forward to colouring it in this book I couldn't I really like the images obviously I, I'm not particularly keen on the the paper the Amazon paper but the images just I really like the images and just couldn't help myself and I purchased it and I thought look get over the paper just it is what it is just do what you can I'm still going to use watercolour on it um a little bit of watercolour, watercolour paint I won't use watercolour pencils but yeah I don't know what I'm going to do which page I'm going to do yet but we'll see but I'm definitely hoping to get one done in lost and found and then I bought these new uh couple of new books which were The Autumn Harvest by Teresa Goodridge, Whimsical Houses by Angela Porter. Now I'm going to colour in one of these, I don't know which one, but um, these are a couple of newish releases. I really like Angela Porter's one, I do like the detailed gorgeous houses, I really do like it. So it might be that I do this. The Autumn Harvest, if I don't get to colour this month, I will hope to do a November one. But, oh sorry, an October one, colour in October. But it's got some Halloween pictures in here as well, which is really good. Like this one, I quite like. So, I want to do one Creative Haven one out of there. And then I have these... Japanese colouring books because of course I'm going to have my Japanese colouring books. Um, there's one in here which is a double page that I am intending to do which I will show you which is pretty much a certainty that I'm going to do because I've had my eye on this during the summer. So it's a double page um, with beautiful mushrooms, acorns, and this lovely tree here, which um, it's got little witches around it, which is so cute. So I'm hoping to do this as a double 
page. I know that's going to take me a while, but definitely want to get that one done. And then probably one of these. I don't quite know which one. So this is, these are all from Amazon Japan, by the way. If you do want the link, do let me know. I do quite like this one. Um, and I know it's not quite Halloween yet, and it's just like September, but, you know, I think that one is really beautiful. I mean, it could be a double page, but I'd probably just do that as a single. But yeah, either that one, and then... Or possibly this this one in here, which I really like. Which is like a harvest one. So it depends on my mood. Um which one I which one I go for really, but one of those. Almost there, guys, almost there. And I've picked out so many books. And then my favourite book, the Townscapes book, again from Amazon Japan. Um I haven't actually picked out a page in here. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking any page, really. I do like the underwater scene with the jellyfish. Very, very detailed. But what I like about this book is that, you know, you can use alcohol markers, fine liners, without worrying about the other side of the book. So hopefully one in Townscapes, because... That is my favourite book. And last but not least, as if um, I haven't picked out you know, enough books already, I'm hoping to colour in one of these. So Wonderful Little World Volume 2 or Wonderful Little World Volume 3. So this is the hobbyist one. Um, and this is just... I wanted to use my alcohol markers. So I thought these books are just great for using alcohol markers in or even watercolour really any mediums but um i want to start using blending with alcohol markers just practicing and um i thought this one would be really useful so yeah not sure not quite sure which page i mean i do quite like this halloween style which is boots so that could also be a possibility. Um, but I think it'll be just a fun image to colour. Um, but yeah, one of one of those, not both, one of those, sort of either or. And that's it really. That's all the books and pages that um, I've shortlisted for the month of September. So hopefully we'll see what I get done. So do let me know what you have picked out. And if you haven't already done so, please do. Um, subscribe if you like what you see. Until next time guys, take care. Happy colouring. Bye.